The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child as this receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, good morning. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Santo Nino. And it is very fitting that first, you have brought along your little Santo Ninos and Santa Ninas with you. So palapakan po natin ang mga bata na naririto, the kids who are here. And di kalawa, please check your seatmate if he or she still looks like a child. Mukhang bata pa rin. Ako mukha pang bagong panganak. No? Sabi ko nga kanina, the history of Christianity in the Philippines will always go hand in hand with the devotion to the Santo Nino. Dahil no March 16, 1521, when Magellan entered that island of Sugbu, they brought with him the image of the Santo Nino that eventually will be discovered by Legaspi, and the rest is history. But for our reflection this morning, I'd like us to focus on three little details in an image of the Santo Nino. Buti meron tayo image ng Santo Nino dito sa harap. And there are three things that that image would like to remind us each day. Number one, if you look at the right hand of the Nino, it is always in the form of a blessing. St. Paul in our second reading tells us that God has blessed us in Christ. And I would like to throw a question to you, dear brothers and sisters. Have you been blessed in the past seven days? Have you been blessed all throughout 2022? Have you been blessed all throughout your n number of years alive here on earth? If you are blessed, can we offer a clap offering to the Lord? Because the image of the Santo Nino reminds us of what St. Paul said. In Christ, you have been blessed. Whatever that blessing would be. The blessing of life. And thank God that we're here. Can you tell the person beside you, Salamat sa Diyos, buhay ka pa. <laughs> thank God you're alive. Thank God you're well. The gift of life. The gift of family. The gift of friends. Even the gift of enemies. Do you think, do you know that your enemies could be a gift? Sabi nga ni St. Jose Maria Escriva, don't treat him as a nuisance. Tell that person, you are making me a saint. Kasi pag nakikita kita, napapadasal ako. <laughs> pag nakikita kita, nasasabi ko, Lord have mercy. <laughs> pag nakikita kita, nasasabi ko, Lord, ang bait mo. Kaya pag sa halip na sabihan mo ng hindi maganda, sasabihin mo, ah, you, ay, hindi, 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 hallelujah ka talaga. <laughs> you are blessed. Pero when Jesus blesses us, the Lord looks at us and tells us, now that I have blessed you, now that I am constantly blessing you, please be a blessing to others as well. Maging pagpapala ka. Huwag ka lang 
ano, receiver ng biyaya, maging daluyan ka rin ng biyaya ng Diyos. Amen. Ikalawang symbol. So, we are reminded of the blessing and of our call to be a blessing. Next, on the left hand, normally you'd see the Santo Nino with a globe in his hand. And it is a beautiful reminder for us the Santo Nino looks at us with that rather mischievous smile. Pansin nyo mga Santo Nino, kakaiba yung ngiti. Hmm, parang ganon. <laughs> parang ganon. The child Jesus reminds us, huwag ka mag-alala. Huwag ka matakot. Huwag ka mag-worry. I'm in control. I hold your life in my hands. Yes, the Lord will grant us the freedom to do what we please. But we all know that there are things in our life that we cannot control, right? Dirma lahat kaya natin. Ano ka? You're not God. We're not God. We're people. But the Lord tells us, have no fear. Wag ka mangamba, wag ka matakot. Hawa ko buhay mo. May mga bagay papahawa ka sa iyo. Okay, rebels mo yan eh. Pero pag di mo na kaya, asahan mo. Andiyan ako. Tutulungan kita. Pagagalingin kita. Gagabayan kita. Pagtatanggol kita. Hindi kita iiwan. At sabi nga ni Cardinal Chito, pag si Lord nagsabing hindi nang iiwan siya, hindi nambobola ang Diyos. Amen. Huwag mo natignan yung katabi mo, hindi yan nambobola. Mukha lang siyang siopaw na bola-bola. Hindi nambobola ang Diyos pag sinabi niyang hawak ko buhay mo and I'm in control. Amen? And finally, if Jesus blesses us so that we could become a blessing, if Jesus holds our lives to tell us He's in control, always notice a Santo Nino's hands and arms are open. Wala pa ako nakita Santo Nino na kaganon. Hindi tumatag life ang Santo Nino. I remember this story about an image of the Santo Nino. You've been to Greenbelt? Greenbelt, yeah, you know. Diba? And you all, you're all familiar with the chapel. Santo Nino de Paz, diba? Yung Santo Nino nila kakaiba kasi nakaganon. Nakaganon. Alam ko pag ako gumunan mo akong Jollibee, never mind. Pero Santo Nino, nakaganon. There's a story in Italy that that image is that where that image was derived from. And it is the image of, a ch- of the child Jesus that was found by a monk or a friar. I forgot the name of that priest. When he dreamt that the Lord Jesus was telling him, you know, you have to share my message to the world. That I became a child, I grew up, and I will save you. So when he woke up, he went to the stores looking for an image of the child Jesus, pero walang nakakuha ng attention niya. Until nung paalis na siya, he suddenly saw out of the blue, there was an image of the child Jesus, like the hundreds in the store. But its arms were open and he was looking at him, smiling. Alam mo narinig niya? Take me home with you. Iuwi mo ako. Isama mo ako kung saan ka pupunta. Ako bahala sa susunod. The child's arms are wide open because he reminds us, Una, he embraces you and me. Sometimes we feel that God is so holy, so pure, so, so mighty, hindi siya reachable. But the Santo Nino tells us, just reach out, call my name, and I'll be there. I know it will bring out images of Michael Jackson and his afro, but that is the Lord's message for you. My arms are wide open to embrace you. Even though you might feel, I am not worthy of the embrace of God. Ang dumi-dumi ko, ang sama-sama ako. Sinasabi ng ninyo sa atin, kalma ka lang, tol. Handa kitang yakapin. Handa kitang mahalin. Warts and all. Pero, as the child embraces us, embrace also the persons beside you. Your family, your friends, people in need, people who need you, people who love you. 
As we continue with our celebration of the Feast of the Santo Nino, let us ask God to bless us. Let us entrust our world to Him. And as we let God embrace us with joy, let us embrace the challenges of this world, the challenges to love one another with generosity, with excitement, and with the joy that comes from the Lord.